All right, then shifting gears, sources tell us that SEBI is likely to exempt some public sector banks and CPSC to meet the 25% minimum public shareholding by August 2024. Sapna Das has the details. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Uh, we are given to understand very clearly that some further extension in the exemptions that are already in place for certain public sector banks and certain uh, CPSCs, that's likely to be extended beyond August 2024. And I think the rationale here is pretty much clear. Uh, you know, many of the PSBs, uh, at least four of them, the government shareholding is above 90 percent. You cannot just break it down in a jiffy uh, by August 2024 to the 75 odd percent norm. Uh, similarly, for certain other CPSCs, a few of them... Uh, uh, you know, the uh, government shareholding is substantial, at least beyond that MPS of 25-odd uh, uh, percent in the sense public shareholding, but uh, GOI shareholding is above 75-odd percent. So keeping all of this in mind, it's likely that yet another extension is on the cards. Of course, uh, there will be a consultation between the government and SEBI uh, before that call is taken. That's one. The second aspect that we need to keep in mind also is the fact that uh, probably at this stage, there is no uh, plan on part of the public sector banks to actually uh, do any direct share sales uh, uh, so to speak, uh, you know, PSBs have been raising money amply uh, from the markets via the QIP route. And, uh, you know, through that, some of the government shareholding has also been coming down naturally. So probably the government here is trying to uh, follow an approach of gradualism or gradual, uh, you know, uh, gradually bringing down government stakeholding, uh, not via direct share, uh, sale of shares, but via maybe even the QIP route. Plus, banks should also be ready to raise that kind of money at a certain cost. Uh, and, uh, you know, they should be needing all that money. So put all of this together uh, and another extension is on the cards and we'll have to just wait and watch and see post-elections, uh, what is the mood in the government? Uh, will this be revisited at some point in time? Well, that's something that we'll have to wait and watch and see. But as of now, extension definitely on the cards as far as exemption from the MPS norms are concerned. All right. Very, very important uh, set of details there, Sapna, regarding the four PSBs that you mentioned. And it is stock impacting in terms of the MSP extension. Thanks, Sapna, for that. With that, we'll slip into a short breather on business lunch. When we return, all eyes on the March inflation number due later today. We get you all the expectations on the other side. Stay tuned.